value stocks are very cheap right now relative to the market, relative to growth. And they, the last time they got this cheap was in February of 2016 and in the summer of 2011. And both times that turned out to be a tremendously good opportunity by value stocks. They did very well. And so there, as you sit here today, uh, you know, the political pundits tell me, I'm a portfolio manager, and my political pundits, they tell me the House is going to go towards the Democrats. That would help the growth stocks relative to value. But value is already down a lot relative to growth. So it just seems to me that if there is a surprise today, it would be uh, in favor of value stocks if the Republicans. But you need a catalyst, a shot of tequila. And that's the type of thing uh, this, days like today would cause a reversal for those financials, those value stocks that are very cheap. I had no idea that a shot of tequila was a catalyst, <laughs> but that's the way I'm going to see it from here on out. And Keith, uh, let me ask you, w w if you're looking at what the odds are, you know, you have um, 538 saying there's maybe an 85 percent that the Democrats take the House here. Do you see that as a break on growth or do you see it as a break on the Fed raising rates or maybe none of the above? Yeah, I think that the Democrats taking the House and, and Republicans keeping the Senate is, is largely an expectation. But I think first and foremost, it takes a key risk off the table for the market that's been very volatile, which is a potential Democratic sweep and how the market digests that. In terms of the value do growth debate, I think you're in this conundrum where at this phase of the cycle, things like tech, things like healthcare should be doing well. We've seen quite a, bat, a bit of that unwind in the tech sector. Uh, and, and as it was just pointed out, we've seen value stocks, financials, energy, materials, semis derate quite a bit. Our view was stay long quality through this volatility per period, but look to buy select value with fundamental momentum uh, around earnings and after these risk events. Uh, Andrew, on the national level, why does this even matter to the markets? I mean, even if the Democrats were to take both houses, they wouldn't have a veto-proof majority. Trump is still president. Isn't this more of an issue at the state level and local level as far as regulations uh, and business conditions are concerned? I totally agree. You're dead on right. I think they will not reverse the policies that Trump has put in place to get the economy going. And therefore, I, I, I completely agree. It's on. I don't see this as a cause for concern for the market regardless of the outcome. You're dead on right.